September is National Diabetes Month. Diabetes is a chronic health condition that affects how your body turns food into energy. There are three types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, and gestational. November also National Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, or COPD Month. Yeah, this refers to a group of diseases that cause breathing-related problems, according to the CDC. So joining us this morning to talk more about both diseases is Dr. Celeste Reese Willis. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. So let's start with diabetes. What are some risk factors for diabetes? So risk factors for diabetes are going to include number one, being pre-diabetic, being greater than 45 years old, having a parent or a sibling that has diabetes, being overweight. And this is one I want to really focus on, being physically active less than three times a week. So by being active, that's one way we can immediately help decrease this disease process. All right, so we can take charge of it. Uh, it's not too late for that, which is good to know. What are some of the top symptoms for the disease? So uh, top symptoms for the disease process are going to be people that have increased thirst, having increased urination, especially at nighttime, having numbness or tingling in your hands or feet, having blurry vision. Sometimes these patients can be unusually hungry, having dry skin fatigue, having sores that are slow to heal. In addition to that, having more infections than normal. And what are some other ways that we can prevent uh, getting type 2 diabetes? Okay, so we already talked about exercise. That's a really, really important component of it, helping us to lose weight. It helps to lower your blood sugar, also helps boost your, insensi your sensitivity rather to insulin. In addition to that, we want to be careful about some of our lifestyle changes and food choices that we make. Making a difference in the food choices that you choose now make a huge difference in what your blood sugar runs on a daily basis. Let's switch to COPD now. What are the risk factors for that? So number one risk factor, of course, is smoking. Uh, being exposed to certain chemicals or irritants uh, can sometimes be a risk factor for COPD. Having regular infections on a regular basis in your lungs, as well as having a history of asthma. And are there ways that we can prevent COPD? Absolutely. Number one, quit smoking. If you're not smoking, don't start. And then you want to decrease your exposure to any kind of lung irritants if possible. I guess that entails vaping now too. We've added something new to the fold. Any, if, if, you know, if there's information out on that, you don't want to start that either. Absolutely, absolutely. You're actually seeing COPD in younger age groups mm -hmm. as a result of vaping. Well, Dr. Celeste, thank you so much for being with us on this Monday morning. We appreciate it. Have a great day. You too.